All right, guys, we gotta talk. We gotta get real. This is an important video because once you realize how anger is affecting your life, you can get rid of it. And once you get rid of it, you're gonna have some peace, and you're not gonna you're not gonna be feeling this way and that way. You're gonna be whole. And you know, for a long time, I didn't think that I was an angry kind of guy because people would do stuff, and I wouldn't really get angry. But what I realized is a lot of my anger came from being judgmental. So I would see people and and I would kind of form judgments about them. Oh, he's no good. Or he's a... Even, even saying he's a beta. And then feeling like, man, he's beta ways and judging them and just feeling this hate. Or uh, when I would see, you know, someone I didn't like someone that's completely opposite from me that I just was like, man, fuck this guy. I would feel hatred. I would feel anger. And so that would make me angry instead of just observing the behavior, instead of just observing it. And what I realized is, wow, that's, that really affects me. So it would happen like just, it became normal. It would, I would not even recognize how angry I was getting, how much this was affecting me all day, man, feeling this way. I see someone, oh, I'm like, a, I'm just like spazzing out instead of being peace, being calm. And, uh, you know, that's no way for a man to act because anger makes you like a woman. All right. It makes you erratic. It makes you emotional. You're supposed to be stoic. You're supposed to be whole. We look at, even if we look at the book, of uh, Genesis and when the story of Adam and Eve God created Adam he created Eve out of man and Adam was close to God he only knew God he was in God's presence he knew the good he was free he was the king the master over the land could do whatever he wanted and then Eve came along and she was deceived by a snake can you even imagine that? She was deceived by a snake. What's that say about women? She literally, she had the devil in her head talking to her in the form of a snake. This creature deceived her. And she took this apple over to Adam and deceived him too. What she did, she sucked him out of that, that presence of God. And, and after he took a bite of the apple, now he had what? The knowledge of good and evil. Now he had this, this mind that could say it could rain judgment over everything. So now instead of being whole and at peace, he became aware of the knowledge of good and evil. He became his own God in a sense. He tried to be like God. If that don't tell you the key, you know, I don't know what else will. He became his own God, and a lot of us are playing God. We make, we're making our own judgments. We're getting angry at this and that. And a lot of us think that anger is righteous, but it's really not. Because I've recognized, like, when I'm angry, I'm just angry. It drains me. I don't really do anything that's valuable. I argue, complain when I'm angry. I just get irrational. Um, I get this erratic behavior. And so you see like, so that's, that's Eve. Eve was like erratic, irrational, disobeyed God, got away from the present. Look at women these days, man. Look at, if you spend any time around women, you see this erratic behavior. You see them getting emotional at the littlest of things. They love you one minute, they hate you the next. They want you to cuddle you and give you a back rub. The next minute, they hate your guts. They're walking out on you. They're making threats. And so if you become angry, you become just like them. And so now we just got a bunch of women. We got a bunch of sissy boys, a bunch of beta males that have become like women. And in that state, everything falls apart. We don't have men to uphold the laws to call really stand up for what's right we see it everywhere like there's a lot of 
you could say wrong going on stuff that doesn't work these laws that are coming about that are just uh sickening you know and so the anger is the downfall of a lot of us and we don't realize it because a lot of us have been brought up thinking that anger is a masculine trait but it's not it's feminine and it's been taught to us by our mothers uh, our mothers have taught us this anger big time you notice and i've realized like the anger happens because of my ego when i let go of anger it means that i have to let go of pride i have to let go of my ego being in control and being the judge and reacting instead of just observing i have to kind of let my ego die I remember back growing up, my brother would be wearing my boxers. And I'd be like, I'm telling mom, you're wearing my boxers. And he would get so upset. My mom would catch him. He would do this like every couple days. I would catch him with my boxers. I'm like, buy your own clothes, dude. Get your own clothes. Mom got you your boxers. I don't wear your boxers. He'd be in my boxers. And, uh, you know, eventually he would get really upset. And when my mom would leave the room, after punishing him, he would go, he would look at me like this, with this really, you know, devilish looking, he said, I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. And I would look at him, and I would instantly react, I would instantly get angry. And I would be like, then fucking do it! Do it! And then, you know, I wouldn't do anything, I would just get angry, and I remember feeling like, I need to go to sleep after that. Like I would get a cortisol dump. And that's a good metaphor for any time that I get angry these days. If it was at work, when I felt like someone did me injustice, when I felt like something was wrong, even though I knew it was wrong, I would always handle it out of anger. And I would feel very tired and just like, I need to take a nap. And I would just feel like, ugh. Instead of being calm, instead of being stoic, instead of being masculine. I learned this shit from my mom, dude. My mom would react. My mom was emotional. I'm, I'm trying to calm her down and stuff. No, man. Women are going to be emotional. You can't pick it up. Anyways, when I, I remember one time, my brother, he was like, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. And I just like, I laughed. I remember just like, blowing it off. I'm just like, whatever, dude. This good dude's never touched me. Like, he's not going to do it. And it, I wasn't affected. You know? Crazy. One really big thing that I've noticed is a lot of guys that think they're seeking justice are the ones that get the most angry. You can, they actually like, even if there's injustice being done, you can see like they get very, uh, oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this is so wrong. It's like they're so emotional. And uh, what 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 do these guys? Why do they need to be emotional, really? And these are social justice warriors, the guys that are you know. Remember that kid that like threw the Coke can or the Pepsi can at her. Anyways, like they go to the, they're like yeah, you know they're crazy dude. They got like a the spirit of anger has come upon them. And guys, that's just we think this is masculine. It's not like. You take action, and you have strength, but the anger doesn't mean you're strong, all right? Uh, 48 Laws of Power. This just came to me. I had to go pick up this book. But in the very beginning, he, he, you know, like the very before the first law, he talks about the key to power is to be able to control your emotions. And this is exactly what he says about anger. The most important of these skills and power's crucial foundation is the ability to master your emotions. An emotional response to a situation is the single greatest barrier to power. A mistake that will cost you a lot more than any temporary satisfaction you might gain by expressing your feelings. Emotions cloud reason. And if you cannot see the situation clearly, you cannot prepare for and respond to it with any degree of control. Anger is the most destructive of emotional responses, for it clouds your vision the most. It also has a ripple effect 
then invar invariably makes situations less controllable and heightens your enemy's resolve. More than ever, I see a lot of guys that think they're taking up the stance of doing what's right, and all they do is r shell out judgment and get very angry. And more than ever, we've got these platforms to do it on, and Reddit seems to be like the biggest place for young men to get angry and become like women. They just complain, they react, they yell, and then they, they yell the louder that they yell. They get some upvotes, they get their stuff seen, and they think they're they're being righteous. But none of these guys are actually like doing it this in the real world. So you gotta be calm, you gotta have that clear headedness, that resolve, and instead of reacting, realize that in order not to react, you got to get rid of your ego and you've got to go back to the source. You got to go back to being present instead of shelling out judgment and getting angry and reacting, having all this knowledge, you know, you've got to kind of drop that and go back to being present, to being whole, to being stoic. And that's when the real revelations are revealed to you. That's when you can see everything clearly. Once you let your ego die. That's really what it is. You got to let the ego die. Okay. And it's just, if we have all these weak men that are angry, the, what are, the women are going to get out of control and you see it more than ever. Just out of control women. Making all these laws, letting shit fly, man. Getting, I mean, we've got, I don't even know what's going on, but a ton of stuff is going on. We got people, uh, we got girls sleeping around looking for that that father, that, that wholeness in a man to get closer to the source, you know, to get closer to that presence. But a lot of men, it's just like, so a woman's got to sleep with a ton of guys. She's just kind of constantly out trying to fill that void within her life. Crazy. We're going to get into that in another, another video, but for now, just remember anger is going to ruin you. Stop thinking that it's right to get angry. Stop acting. You guys, like, you can tell someone's ego. Anger is just ego, dude. It's all ego. It does nothing but kill you inside. So don't get angry. Realize the anger does nothing. I don't ever remember anger helping anyone. Every time it was someone at work getting frustrated, anytime it was my boss, when he would react, I would react, didn't help anyone. I don't know where I learned that from. Not even sure. Never seen anyone benefit. Friends, family, loved ones, nobody. Mind blowing. All right? So what's the point of getting angry? It's nothing. Nothing. It's not manly. It's, it is erratic. It's feminine. Uh, and and you, especially, how are you going to be a leader for a family if you're the one getting angry? Your wife is getting all crazy. You decide to get crazy too. Man, that's the biggest mistake. Don't care. You got to become non-emotional, non-attached, get rid of the judgment, be, go back to God. You're like Adam, go back to God, man. Don't eat the fruit. Don't eat the fruit. Don't get involved with the thinking, with the arguing, with the anger, with the complaining. It brings you down. You need to go back to the wholeness, to the present. All right. There it is, man. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.